Welcome to the Wee Blouse. This is our review of Alter Ego class character Sitonai for Fate Grand Order. Now this is basically Ilya's alter ego, just with a heavy coat and a bear. Um, alter ego characters are kind of hit and miss. Uh, let's just go into the skills here. Number one, invincibility self for one turn, party damage reduction up to 500 points. So basically if something would hit you for 600 points of damage, it'll reduce it by 500 and you take 100 points. Always never really cared for the point reduction. I'd rather have the percentages. Skill number two, arts up for three turns and debuff immune one time, three turns. 30% on the arts up, eh, it's okay skill, I guess. Third skill, chance for attack up self, that would be 20% for three turns, chance of getting 10 critical stars a turn for three turns, and 30% NP gauge charge. The 30% charge to the MP gauge is nice, but the chance-based stuff, 60% chance, I can't stand that. It's not reliable. It's good because you actually get the MP gauge regardless. That's not chance-based. The other two, if they all hit, it's a great skill. If they all miss, it's a horrible skill. Whatever. <sighs> Noble Phantasm is a single target with the overcharge being... Crit chance and defense down, 20 to, 30, 20 to 30 to 40 percent. Lasts for three turns based on the overcharge. That's kind of nice, but it doesn't activate first. It's an after effect. So, meh. and probably one of the more worthless traits of a Noble Phantasm I've seen dragon enemies, NP gauge down a tick. I have never run across a scenario where that was useful. Ever. But it's there, in case you find yourself needing it. Let's see her in action. Asitonai is useful, but generating her arts I've always noticed is be a little bit of a pain. Uh, let's smack around this back drag. We're going to do an arts buster buster, and between her buster card and her quick card, I don't think we really noticed much of a difference, so let's just do arts buster buster, see what that can do. Got a buster crit crit in there, this is all good. Had her at 133, so that's 33% that she generated. If that buster didn't crit, chances are it'd be dead on 30, maybe 29, 28, somewhere around in there. Her ability to generate her own NP, even when it's arts quick arts, is actually fairly low. Um, she's going to need a little bit of oomph to get her NP up. Now she does have a skill to help out a little bit, but it doesn't do all that much. Now, self, now she's only single target, buff her up. Our skills are, I believe, our 666, she is NP4. Let's see what she does. Single target, so Medusa here is going to be weak to her. For a single target at NP4, that's weak. Uh, no denying that, that is fairly weak. Okay, now, as you can see, the damage was poor. This character's poor. This is a poor character. I'm sorry. Might be Ilya's alter ego or whatever, but th this is a poor, poor character. You know, the cute and fuzzy bears and whatever is not going to make up for this character. It hits like a wet sock. You know, you get slapped in the face with it. He's like, Psh, ow, what'd you do that for? That's... Yeah, this one is a hard pass. Even if you have no alter egos to speak of, don't waste your time with this one. 
The courts are much better well spent on just about any other alter ego there is out there. So hard pass on this one, I'm sad to say. And with that, like, subscribe, hit that notification button. Stream me on twitch.tv slash uh, the Weeb Lounge. Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday. See you in the next video.